여덟 번내 생에 위기는 여러 번 눕혀진 팔자로 걸었던 컥컥컥컥 걸었던 쥐의 하늘에 말을 걸어 신의 시비를 걸었던 막막한 앞날에 막말해 솔직히 몰래 떨었던 철없던 그랬던 꿈은 아주 멀었던 꿈일 뿐 무일 뿐 내게는 사치일 뿐 그러던 내게 다가와 넌 내게 다가와 마치 내 같은 양인 듯나 나만 바라봐 넌 나만 바라봐 넌내 애 맞춰 시선들을 맞춰 사람 위에 사람 먹고 사람 밑에 사람 Enough, enough. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Do you like this uh, new time? It's 12.30 here. Uh, this is kind of like my usual time in, uh, when I used to uh, stream in Kuwait. Speaking of Kuwait, I will be in Kuwait next weekend for... One night only, one night only. Um, I will be there because I miss Marie so much. I wanted to uh, say hi to her. I'm going to give her her vaccinations so she can travel back uh, probably next month, my next trip to Kuwait. Um, but yeah, 12, 12.30 here in the U.S., e Eastern Standard Time. I just wanted to come earlier because I know a lot of people keep on missing the live streams. Uh, who are used to the old timing. So we'll see how this works out. Um, I came early, which means I have a lot more time today. I have a couple hours, like, you know, like the past couple of live streams, we've been uh, uh, kind of rushed. Like I had like a, an hour or an hour and a half. Today I have about a good solid uh, three hours. So that means we get to watch a lot of things today. Uh, what is on the list today? We have freaking Run BTS. 
episode one and episode two, which we are going to watch both of them. We have BTS Army documentary part one, part two. We have Jin the Astronaut logo trailer. And we also have something with Jimin and Suga. I have no idea what it is. It's 30 minutes, huh? Okay. Um, we'll see where, how far we get to, but definitely we are going to run BTS today. All right. So before we do, I wanted to talk about some things. I didn't know uh, so many people. Oh, before we do anything. During the Busan concerts, we had a special group of people meet up. Um, they were uh, genosaurs, uh, genosaurs that I know, uh, and you know people around our community. And they did a people travel from East Asia, Australia, North America, Europe, and they all met up in Korea, and they uh, kind of just like hung out together throughout the whole trip, and. Um, I can't show you their faces, but I can show you just like one dinner that they all had together. And uh, we blurred out the faces, but uh, this is like a dinner that uh, when they all met up together uh, before the concert, having Korean barbecue. Uh, Cherry is in attendance. She is among these people. Um, but yes, uh, it's, gr it's very, very satisfying knowing that uh, you know, these people were able to link up and create relationships and have a good time. Um, um, you know, they met through me, but they were there for BTS and for them to be you know, part of a group, a larger group, have, be able to have fun with others, um, with other people who have common interests uh, and be safe, you know, and uh, for, for them to be able to do that, it just warms my heart. And I hope all of you had a great time uh, during that trip. Um, and Cherry, you deserve it. You deserve it. Uh, Run BTS will not be streamed here, the reaction. It will be at the end, but uh, simultaneously we are uh, streaming on Twitch right now. So when we get to the Run BTS portion of this live stream, I want you all to uh, migrate over to the Twitch channel. It's, the link is down below in the description. So you can just hop on over there anytime. Both chats are on screen, so uh, you will be uh, communicating with the others. All right. Uh, well, there's one piece. Actually, before I talk about anything, it's getting hot in here. Ugh. Watch Drunk Jin, please. I don't know what that means. Tell Cherry. <laughs> Cherry makes a live, live stream playlist. My friends, a lot of my friends call me, nickname me Ears of God because I can pick up on uh, sounds really uh, well. And they also, when they make music, they also ask me for uh, EQing advice. What's, you know, how the overall sounds are. Um, and I've... I've been told this ever since I was young, you know, I had really like detailed ears. I can't really listen to music in the house because um, it affects me too much. I can't go to places where there's multiple songs going on at the si same time because I lose my insanity. I go crazy because I'm always following the song, you know, um, and it's just part of who I am as a person, as a human. I function that way. But for the past year or two, there was something in my left ear. I don't know what it was. My left ear. It just like, the sound was like a little bit muted. So I'm thinking there's something seriously stuck in my, my ear. And I need to get it out. But, you know, I, I've been, I was researching like freaking like earwax remove, remover. I don't know what's in there. It just feels like a bug. It's, it's. You know, like something big got in there, not just earwax build them. So I bought a freaking water pick, you know, like <clears throat> to floss with water. The water flies out. 
they say don't use it for your ears because you you'll bust your your uh, eardrums but i'm like okay let me just be careful and just try and i and i did it yesterday for like 10 minutes nothing came out i'm like maybe it's my imagination like but i really f- feel like something is there 15 minutes in something comes out of my freaking ear and i saved the f- motherfucker just for you guys to see now don't uh don't vomit when you see this, all right? This is how big it was. This came out of my freaking ear hole. <laughs> this was stuck in my ear. This is like built up earwax. It's a huge, humongous. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> but I had to save it just for you guys, you know? What do I do with, it, with this? I burn it or like put it on the, on the grill? I don't know what to do. Should I fry it? Should I smoke it? Or I don't know. <laughs> it's a boulder. It's a raisin. <laughs> yeah. Smell it. Lick it. Yeah, just for you. Deep fried earwax. Don't smoke it. <laughs> okay, I won't smoke it. <laughs> uh, block him. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it in those like containers, like put water and save it for the rest of my life. This has been blo- blocking my, the ears of God. And now I'm back. The real ears of God are back. All right. Mm, I divorce. <laughs> uh, the lighting today is a little bit like lighter, like whiter, because I have sun coming in. And you should see what's going on here. Like my attempts to block out the light. Yeah, it's crazy. But I will fix the white light um, if we keep this time schedule. Gino, did you do something to your face? Mm, yeah, I use the uh, skincare box. No, my my face is like white. I usually I do have a white uh, complexion, but uh, it's just like the sun right now coming in, and the curtains are not blocking out all of the light. Yeah, <laughs> wash your hand now. No, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so skincare box I love. I don't you guys like the uh, the cleanser in there, the rice cleanser? I love it so much. It's so good. Like if I'm in the shower, I'm like, oh no, I gotta use the uh, the cleanser. So I get out of my shower, go to the sink, and get it. Yeah, the cleanser is really really good. I love it. Okay, now I, w- I do have some important things to talk about with you guys. I didn't know to what extent uh, the temperature was with Army after uh, the announcement, the en- enlistment announcement. And I didn't know that to what degree people were, you know, feeling emotional. Uh, because I didn't really, you know, I had other stuff going that I wasn't really focusing, but I really realized that a lot of people are down right now. And I just wanted to come here more than anything else and discuss this. It's beyond just the reactions today. Um, because a lot of people are confused. Uh, a lot of people are sad, down, worried, you know, mad. But I want to tell you that none of that is needed. Um, it's... When I saw the article, it was announced by High Big Head. But up till now, we haven't heard the group say anything. Um, I don't really put much stock into what High Big Head says because they're always going to put a business-minded spin on it for their investors. Um, For those of you who think Big Hit High has BTS interests above their investors' interests are completely mistaken. 
BTS、uh, is a group under the company. The company has a their first duty. It's called a fiduciary duty. Their first duty is to to look out for the interests of their investors.、Um, so always separate hype from BTS because they are not one.、Uh, they have different goals in mind. Okay, and honestly, as as a company, I am really not happy with how big it hype manages、uh, BTS.、Um, BTS are shareholders, yes. But they are not the major shareholders.、Um, I just think big hit. I mean, you can you can criticize me all you want. This is my opinion. I think they sell well, way too much. They're focused on way too much merch selling, and they don't do a better job of managing、uh, BTS as a group.、Um, Weaver's live stream, the way it was handled. Is one clear example. There is no excuse for the live stream、um, cutting off for millions and millions of people. You had more than enough time, years and years, to get ready for this, and you still fail. How about not focusing on being greedy, not owning the platform, and just using another platform that exists, like YouTube? What's wrong with that? But instead, you choose to be greedy, and you can't even you can't even perform. You can't even execute. You know. It's like, okay, if you want to be greedy, I want it. I want it to be, you know, executed correctly. Like, f weavers, seriously, f weavers to the max. It's such a piece of crap. Like, the interface, how you navigate, you don't even know. Like, on concert day, you don't even know there's a concert right as soon as you go on weavers. It doesn't even show. You have to navigate into so many. Uh, places just to get into the BTS page where the concert is. It's so difficult to navigate, and that is the job of freaking big hit hype. Where are the freaking translators? Like, come on! Billions of dollars are being made here, and you fail to hire one full-time translator that can just get it done on the spot. Like, I fucking do it on the spot. Why can't you do it? You have billions, and last but not least, the way they handle enlistment. You had years and years to prepare, and it's your responsibility. It's not BTS' responsibility. You know they they do what they're told by the law. If they get exempt, they don't go. If they're told to go, they go. They don't have much of、uh, choice. You know they're the act. But the people who handle them make strategic decisions, you know, lobby, find ways to get out of it. That is an ultimate fail by the management, and there's no excuse for that.、Um, you know,、uh, this was not supposed to be like some discussion about high, but、um, yeah, they had years and years to. Come up with a solution, and they fail to. And that half of that is placed on the government, Korean government. Half of that rests squarely on bigot hype. You know, it's、uh, they had time, a lot of time, and they failed to deliver.、Um, it just blaming the government is an easy, easy way out. There's a lot of blame、uh, to go around. Yes. <clears throat> um, going back, we still haven't heard anything about、uh, what BTS. BTS has not even talked about enlistment yet. Yet,、uh, what will happen? And they said, "Trust, trust us." Last time we saw them at the concert, they said, "Trust us." So. Um, we know for certain that Jin is going, right?、Uh, we don't know about the others, and there's a lot of confusion. And I don't want people to overreact because they say they have a lot of content、uh, pre-made already.、Um, enlistment is about 18 months, a year and a half. It's a year and a half goes by so quickly, you know, like. 
like COVID, uh, you know, that whole thing lasted well, much, much longer than a year and a half. Um, so, I, okay, one person, one member's enlistment lasts for 18 months. For all of them to come back, it'll be the early 2025, right? But that doesn't mean they won't be around. Um, it's just they won't be around together as a group officially performing. And, you know, there's a lot before that, that end of the spectrum. There's them just hanging out, doing run BTS, maybe commercials. You don't, you don't know. But one thing is for, for certain, I, heard, I read an article that the uh, uh, Department of Defense is looking into ways where BTS can perform concerts. Um, so they're still exploring and it's still like, you know, evolving. So we don't know what the end form will look like. So, um, yeah, we, we don't know. I mean, maybe they are able to perform as a group. So it's nothing is official yet. So I don't want people to overreact because I think once they get everything settled, they'll come back. And they will be a group together for a long time. It just feels like uh, that's what's going to happen. As long as there is a significant uh, fan base. And I presume that uh, armies can wait it out 18 months. I mean, we've seen groups here in the U.S. that don't perform for 10 years and come back and still do okay, right? So 18 months in the grand scale of things in, in the entertainment, you know? I mean, we're, we're so used to, like releases like every couple months something dropping like every week something always happening like twitter you know always always fast 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 uh, i think we will be okay and not something to be overly concerned about um so yes the hardcore armies will wait of course it's uh more about just a general you know, casual fan, uh, which is probably a bigger number than the hardcore armies. Um, so yeah, just take it in stride, you know, like I'm sure we're going to get pictures of the members in the army, in the, in the army, the military, and you guys will make memes and things will still continue to be like, you know, there will be stuff here and there, you know, it won't be like just finished. We'll be back. Right. Uh, another concern people had um, was how they will be treated in the army, um, because there are there have been horror stories uh, in the past about mistreatment, about jealousy, about uh, you know G Dragon going through some stuff in the military. Honestly, I don't think uh, that is. First of all, <clears throat> the military culture has changed so much within the last 10 years in Korea. Before, when you were in the military and, and you have a, a, someone lower you, lower than you, yeah, you'd slap them around, you'd kick them, you know, you'd abuse them if you wanted to, if you were an ass. But a lot of that culture has disappeared. Uh, first, Korean people in general uh, are a little bit more tame than before we're, we're a lot more civilized uh we used to be savages before um even in high school like that that macho you know like bully culture was alive and well and that was applicable to uh the army to the university to to corporate life even but a lot of that has died down a lot i'd say about 80 percent of that has just disappeared just because it's a different era in, in Korea, a different style. Um, people are you know, a lot more respectful and, and it's, it's, kids are different now. <laughs> um, but also because of the fact that BTS are considered natural, uh, national uh, treasures, um, they are going to be safe. Don't worry about bullying. Um, I didn't go to the army, but almost all my friends have and um it's not as bad as you think it's not like it's not like a bully camp you know so um yes 
uh, G Dragon, Tamin, people like that. They're famous, they're big stars, but let's be honest, they're not BTS. They're not national treasures, worldwide superstars. That's different level. I mean, there's star level, and then there's out of this world superstar level that you just can't even, you know, like, you don't worry. The security will be around to handle, right? I mean, G Dragon, you are, you know, like, one of the legends but we're talking about next level like top 20 influential people in the world so don't worry about that don't worry yes yes a sergeant touches Jin, and high lawyers will knock at the door not not just hype lawyers freaking the blue house will knock at the door and say what the F are you doing? Do you want to get court martialed? Do not lay your hands on national treasures <laughs> that contribute six percent of the Korean GDP. All right. Look, this is all for show. Nobody wants to send BTS to the army. This is all show. This is politicians saying every man has to go to the army, you know? Just to appease their you know hard headed uh, uh voting base. Um, nobody really is interested in, in them sacrificing um, themselves for the army. It's all a show. And if it's just they have to put on that act, and BTS has to oblige because they are citizens. So, yes. Every man except rich kids. Even rich kids have to go to the army now. We, we used to have. So I didn't go to the army, and people used to call me um, Shinader, which means son of God, because privileged kids were able to get out of uh, the army. Uh, for me, it wasn't that case. It was just, I happened to, uh, I grew up in the U.S., so I, I mean, I'm a U.S. citizen, so I was not not required to go. But a lot of, some of my friends who were able to get out were, yeah, privileged kids, like, and that's why they were t named, coined the term uh, Son of God, Shinada. But there is no more Shinada uh, going around in Korea. There is, I mean, there is a little bit of like, okay, they can go get a, like an office admin administrative job. But completely getting out of uh, service is unheard of now. Yeah. Why you didn't go, Gino? Because I'm son of God. <laughs> no. Um, because I'm a citizen of the U.S. That's why. Money talks. Now, our main question is, yes, Cherry. Is JK loving ARMY too much and staying longer? We are rather <laughs> JK joining the Navy or Air Force. You know, we have a uh, special forces, Tukjansa. That's where the crazy of the crazies and the capable of the capable go. Uh, I had a friend there who went to special forces. Like, all our friends were like, are you freaking crazy? You're going to freaking special forces? You volunteered to go to special forces. You know what they do as training? They drop ship you into a forest in the winter with a knife and you spend like two weeks there no food no nothing you figure it out and you come out <laughs> that's special forces training for you i kid you not so he has a knife and he's just like hunt hunting and just surviving yes korean military is no joke. There's a, no joke because we have, we're at war technically with North Korea. So we do have some crazy uh, military stuff going on. Um, if you are interested, if you are a history, uh, military history buff, read about the, uh, uh, the tigers, uh, something tigers, red tigers, uh, Korean Marines, red tigers in like the Vietnam War. 
because if you speak with like American、um, vets, they will say like those Korean military Marines are no joke.、Um, it's well documented that the the Korean Marines in the war were serious, serious savages. Yes. So let's hope that Jungkook doesn't say, "Yep, special forces." Enlisting. <laughs> what if Jungkook goes there and says, "You know what? I am liking the special forces. I will become a special force." <laughs> Jungkook also loves food. That will be the one thing stopping him doing this. Special- no, he will hunt for food. <laughs> He's a baby general. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, let's go back. I, I I want to just reassure you that nothing has really concrete at this point.、Um, only Hybe made a corporate、uh, statement,、um, and, and legally they have to because. Once they know something, they are legally obliged to notify their shareholders of any material.、Uh, material means significant、um, ongoings with their their business, their operations. So they had to notify the shareholders, and that's why that no that announcement was not for the army. That was for the freaking uh, shareholders. Uh, because if you know something material like that, you have to disclose it.、Um, So yes, another real like humane or yeah humanistic announcement will be made. I presume by BTS regarding、uh, the decision. Okay, Jungle will be extra buff when he comes back. <laughs> Could Jungle be deemed not fit for service because of his hats? I I don't think so. I think、uh, that is probably an old. Rule because there are so many people in Korea right now with tattoos. Yeah, money rules the world. So does government and politics, and those two things merge.、Um, and I'm sorry, you guys have to be exposed to things like that, but that's how things get done, you know. And I'm sorry. You know, read this. Okay, let's read some. <laughs> okay, all right. This is pretty funny. This is a、uh, a letter from army to、uh, the group. Kim Namjoon, 가서 뭐 부수지 말고, which means Kim Namjoon, when you go there, do not break anything. Kim Sakjin. 가서도 밥잘 챙겨 먹고, which means Kim Sok Jin. Be sure to、uh, eat well while you're there. Min Yoon Gi, 가서도 잠은 꼭잘 자고. Min Yoon Gi, go there and sleep well. Jung Ho Seok, 가서도 밝게 잘 지내고. Jung Ho Seok, when you go there, uh, stay uh, bright and sunny. Park Jae Min, 가서도 모두에게 예쁨 받고, <laughs> so cute. Park Jae Min, when you go there, make sure to be loved by everybody and 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 and、uh, make everyone happy. Kim Tae Young, 가서도 순수한 마음 잃 잃지 말고. So Kim Tae Young, when you go there, do not lose your innocence and your pure pure heart. Jeon Jung Kook, 제발 자 적성 찾아서 보지 말고. <laughs> Please go there and do not uh, discover um, the military. Don Jung Kook, you have to come back. Don Jung Kook was like, "Hmm, this is not bad." Oh, there's more. Okay. Namjoon has to shoot guns. 
Will he be okay? Sok Jin has a garlic allergy. Will he be okay? Yoon Gi. Will he be okay not uh, producing? Ho Bi. Reaction 금지인데 괜찮을까? You can't make reactions. Will you be alright? Jimin is 거기 챙기고픈. Jimin is gonna meet a lot of people that he is going to want to take care of. Will he be okay? Taeyong is 태태어 금지 괜찮을까? Will Will V be okay? Will Taehyung be okay? Uh, not doing the uh, V V face, the Tata Mike face. Jungkook is 18 years old. Due to the hair, Hanba. Jungkook, you better come back in 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's not a goodbye. Automatic goodbye. Are they all going right now? No one knows. So why are you saying goodbye to them already? Right? So let's not uh, overreact to something that's not has happened, okay? Because chances are, I think there is going to be a silver lining somewhere. I do. I really do. I feel like something's going to happen where you're going to be like, okay, that's better. I mean, it won't be like, okay, they're fully out of it, but there will be something where Korean government is going to compromise something. Like, okay, BTS. Get your own room. Stay there. There's a camera. Do your thing and come out in 18 months. Something's going to happen like that. You, you know, it's not like they'll be gone from the face of uh, 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 media uh, forever for, 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 for three years, two years, whatever. Um, training all Koreans have to go through. I think it's like uh, six to eight weeks or something like that. It's like uh, just basic training. Um, even Koreans who go, who go to administrative uh, uh, positions in the military, uh, they have to go through that. So it's like, <clears throat> that's like just basic training where if war breaks out, every dude knows how, how to shoot a gun and not kill themselves. So that's, it's like safety training. But uh, it's, that's the hardest part of military service, that basic training. Yeah. But uh, let's... Take a deep breath and not take things too far. These kind of letters are just too premature in my opinion. Nothing has happened. Um, I don't know why. I usually don't do this kind of thing. I'm usually not like this, but when BTS's RM said, please just trust us, you know? I was really comforted in that because out of all the members, I do think he has very wise mind and he has the army's best interests at heart more than freaking hype so trust him at least you know just trust him yes so things will be okay all right Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Let's uh, uh, get into some more fun topics. Um, can we watch the flying yoga first, Gino? Please. Uh, the thing is, uh, flying yoga has to be watched on Twitch. So we'll leave that at the end, where everyone can migrate over to Twitch. Um, uh, we do have other things to watch, and we'll get into it now. This is Jin, the astronaut's logo trailer. No music, huh? Just logo reveal. Man. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to reveal the logo. You ready for the logo reveal? The logo is coming right now. The logo. Let's go. Wait, it's a song. It has a logo. Let's watch it. Ah, before we do, we have a freaking sponsor. Go, sponsor. We love you.
Okay, we're back. Uh, there was something I wanted to say before we did it. Uh, if I remember, I'll say. Okay, let's go into the uh, logo uh, reaction. Logo reaction. <laughs> let's go. Does anybody hear the imbalance with the sound? Left side is higher. Oh, it's stereo. Okay, it's gonna move. This logo better be good. <laughs> That was a Lego? Is this the logo? It's nice, but is this the logo? Hi. Right. Jeez, come on. You're milking it too much. All right. I know we are content starved here, but that's just taking a little too far guys <laughs> uh, don't make everything too dramatic like oh my god okay i get it i get it that's hilarious all right let's watch this Just one day. Uh, ah! what what is this why are you here it's a video with Chimin and, and sugar? No? Okay. Whoa, who's this girl? Oh my god, who's this girl? <laughs> who's this ma mafia boss? <laughs> we don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who is this girl? Hello, Oh my. 
그래서 저희는 마지막 기념회사 여기 이 실버 버튼 플래터에다가 참 크래커 올려 먹을 거거든요. 아 저희 오늘 또 되게 귀한 손님 오시거든요. 글쎄 BTS가 아이고 말하면서도 구라갔네. <웃음> BTS가 <웃음> 말하면서 <웃음> BTS가 아이고 말하면서도 구라 <웃음> 구라 is like slang for lying. <웃음> BTS가 와요 세상에. It's like uh, what's what's slang for lying in English? Like uh, fucking with you. <웃음> 아유 저희 프로그램이 사실 마지막이어서 좀 아쉬운데 유종의 미를 이렇게 좀 장, 장식을 하려고 하고요. 저희 그 방탄소년단 멤버분들 중에서 또 진님께서 나오시게 되셨는데요. 아, 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 아. 오늘 아, 정말 프로그램의 본분 음주 가무의 끝을 달려볼 겁니다. 제가 특별히 아 무려 2010년사 What? She's 20 years old? Get out! 58톤짜리 중국수를. <웃음> She's partied quite a bit. 근데 이제 또 시국이 시국이니만큼 음식 같은 거는 먹어볼 때좀 조심을 해야 돼갖고 제가 먼저 시음을 해보도록 하겠습니다. 자. She's chewed some gum. We we have this slang for women uh, who've for ladies who uh, you know. Partied quite hard in their teens. It's chewed some gum. Gum 좀 씹었어. <laughs> I shouldn't be teaching you these kind of slangs, but she chewed some gum. 프로그램이 <laughs> 마무리까지 너무 잘온 것에 대해서 진짜 너무 큰 감사. 어 소리도 뭔가 약간 무서워. 이 자르는 소리 좀 들어보세요. 짠. <웃음> 와! 와, 이거 개 쩐다. 이거! 오. 아니, 이게 뭐냐면, 이렇게 먹고, 여기로 일단 물이, 액체가 내려가, 와, 아직도! 와, 근데 먹이긴 먹여야 돼. 왜냐면 이상이 없다는 걸 내가 알았거든, 지금. 하이브! 긴장해라! 와인. 와인, 오케이. 진님이 와인을 좋아하신대요. 진짜? 근데 그거랑 상관없이 오늘 58도로 먹어야 되는데? 와, 로마에 왔으면 로마법을 따라야 되는데? 우리 술 많아. 지금 우리 아빠지? 지금 본인, 지금 본인이 BTS라고 우리 술 많이 안 가지고 있을 거라 생각했지? 저는 학교 나왔던 거다 꺼낼 거야. 이과도수, 진로, 복분자, 마요네즈. <웃음> Why am I? Yo, I don't know if I can handle this. Who? 참 크래커 쓰레기. Okay, bring Jin on. Oh my god! What are you doing? Chin is like, oh my god. Come here. Come here. Come here. 걷기 불편하시죠? 아니 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 아
그때는 촬영을 해가지고 외부 촬영 아예 안 하세요? 아예 안 한다기보다 이제 거의 한 99% 안 한다고 진짜? Gino, you need to rewind. Okay. s o m e t h i n g going on. All right, I'm down with this program. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get past the mayonnaise, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <Hive> camera. <laughs> oh my God, this girl. <laughs> oh my God, this girl is so extra. <laughs> I think I can pay the monthly rent. <laughs> 전... She can't be living there. That's the extent of the whole place. What you're saying. The other side is just a window. These, these are what an o p i s t e l is. BTS Gino. <笑>おっとけ、じゃあ、ま、すっげんだ。どうすっけ。よせや。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お。お
할때그 이제 그 이제 한참 방황할 시기에 <웃음> Diva Gate? What's Diva Gate? Who wrote this translation? What's a freaking Diva Gate? 방황은 안 했어요. 아, 그래. Rebel. <웃음> 저게 이제 모범적인 학생이었거든요. Diva Gate is here. 스무 살이면 이제 음주해도 괜찮지 않나? 맞아요, 맞아요, 네. 맞아요. 그때 이제 학교 다닐 때 네. 이제 이 업데이 있을 때. 엔돌핀이 마구 마구 샘서 살 때. 그렇지, 엔돌핀. 어우, 목청 목청이 세다. 목청 좋죠. 네. 실례지만 연세가. 어? 연세. 맞춰보세요. <웃음> 연세. <laughs> how old are you? Yonse means like uh, how old are you when you say it to like very older people. Like I would say it to like a grandpa, you know? <laughs> But he's saying it to her. <laughs> like how old are you? Oh, 미성년자 근데 술 먹어도 돼. 무슨 소리? 아 이런 거 보통 어른들이 하면 좋아하시는데. 진짜 준비 많이 드신 거 같은데. 아니요. 마이토스. 아 너무 많이. What is this? My my Thai? Oh, 감사합니다. 제가 또 연약한 스타일이라. 진짜? 네. 근데 연세가 저보다 저몇 살인지 아세요 혹시? 스물 둘이었나? 스물 한 살. 하나 하나. 그래가지고 연세가 저보다 많으시니까 사실은 술을 저보다 몇 병을 더 많이 드셔보셨을 거 아니에요? 어, 그건 맞죠. 감사합니다. 조심하세요. 이거 좀 세요. 그럼 제가 같이 마실게요. 아, 같이 마시자. 가지 마셔요. 원샷인가요? 원샷? 아. 아니 조그만 거뭐 마셔 마셔 나눠 마실라고. 누가 보다 큰데. <웃음> Are there any Koreans out here like real Koreans like speak Korean? Uh, what's that uh, show with like Mi Midari and Midari Appa? What's Midari Appa's name? Because she speaks exactly like Midari Appa. 선배님 먼저. 아. 순풍. 순풍 사 보일까? 예스. 물아 이거 물. 우와. <웃음> 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 제가 원샷을 못 때려 가지고 잠깐. 아, 그 말씀하셔. 말씀하셨어야지 말 한번. 나 미달이 아빠. 메비 미달이. 할아버지? 먹지 마세요. 물도 돼, 물도 돼. 저 멋있게 원샷 때렸습니다. 아, 또, 아, 또, 아, 또 슈... 아, 먹지 마. 아, 예, 예. 먹지 마. 아, 슈퍼스타로서 이런 것도 참을 수 없어가지고 아. 슈... 먹지 마. 야, 아, 슈퍼스타로서 이거 또 아, 자, 자, 아, 자, 아, 에, 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 에. 어, 먹지 마, 먹지 마, 제발 먹지 마. 아, 자, 아, 아, 먹을 신용만 했는데 잠깐. 뭐? <웃음> 아우 이거 아 많이 흘려서 다행이다. 아, <웃음> 아 이거 협찬 오신다 여기다 닦아도 되나? 어떻게 물 대신 어디 있어? 아니 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 안 주세요. 아 감사합니다. <웃음> 어디? He just said something you guys should know. 협찬 옷, which means sponsored clothes. They wear it with the tags on, and they have to return it with the tags on. <웃음> But you have the option of buying it as well. 흘리셨어요. 닦았어 닦았어 걱정하지. 잘하셨어요. 아 감사합니다. <웃음> 카메라 가리면 안 되니까 프로거든요. 아 이런 거안 하시는구나. 오케이. 너무, 아. 너무 프로신 거 아니에요? 아니 근데 이거 혹시 그 여왕분들이 쓰시는 아니요 <웃음> 슈퍼스타만 쓸수 있는 슈퍼스타 원래. 여태 누가 썼나요? 여태 초. 아, <웃음> 아 마치 슈퍼스타 요새 유튜브에서 <웃음> 이, 아니 너튜브에서 1위를 요, 하고... 여기는 괜찮아. 아 여기는, 여기는 괜찮아. 모든 속박과 굴레를 벗어나도 되는 아, 공간이에요. 아 그래요? 공간 또 하고 그래야 돼요? 어머. <웃음> 유튜브. She calls it NoTube because you means No means you in Korean, so she's saying you. No tube. Ani, p a b a c h o p r o g r a m i a n Oh my Choi gosh, program. she's so Oji Myung. Oji Myung. I'm a Echong. I should have done it. 사실 그 제가 이 Echong 작가진 아니고. 진짜 서운해. <웃음> 이 참, 참 <웃음> 죄송하게 됐습니다. 
아, 애청자까지 아니고 그 네. 알고리즘에 이게 굉장히 자주 떠요 또 저희 저희 프로그램 아, 항상 1위다 1위를 차지하고 있다 보니까 또이 유튜브계 또 BTS 어. 아니겠습니까? 맞아 맞아 맞아. 그걸 인정을 해준 거잖아. 저희 유튜브 얘기에 BTS라고. 다른 친구들과도 상의를 좀 해봐야 될것 같아. <웃음> 맞아 맞아. <웃음> 그래도 진님께서 인정해 주신. 아 맞죠 맞죠. 유튜브계 BTS. 그럴 때마다 봤습니다. 저 진짜? 화장실 고장 났다고. 그 아저씨 고장 난걸 알고 계시네. 아저 들어오면 안 된다고. 혹시 보이세요? 이게 이거. <웃음> 보이세요? <웃음> BTS. <웃음> 저희 오늘 혹시 화장실. That is that says BTS Jin. <웃음> 보이세요? Jin Gino BTS Gino. You see that BTS Gino. <웃음> 저희 오늘 혹시 화장실 이용할 일 있으시면 아, 네. 저희 좀 송금을 해주시면 되는 부분이 있어가지고 100만 원! 100만! 한번쓸 때마다 한 번! 굉장히 <웃음> 이 금액이 적네요 네. 우와! Superstar Money! 펜 조각! 펜! <웃음> That's too much. <웃음> 자, 한번 AC 100, 1000, 10만, 100만, 1000만, 1000만, 1000억, 10억, 100억, 1000억! 이야! <웃음> 저도 아직 저런 돈을 못 만져보긴 했는데 빚져서라도 어떻게 한번 아, 화장실 이용하면은 저희 이게 당일날 바로 받으라리라는 법이 없으니까요. 근데 지금 제가 다리가 바들바들 떨려서 <웃음> 아니, 제가 조깅을 아직 굉장히 오래 됐었어요. 아니 가지고. 조깅을 언제 하셨길래 아직까지 다리가 그저께 했는데요. 네. 아, 예, 예. 뭐 죄송한데 뭐 100kg 뛰셨어요? 아니 뭐 10분 뒤 10분 뛰었습니다. 10분. 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 체질 자체가 약간 좀 약간 좀 쉽게 지치시는 스타일이에요. 제 몸에 거예요? 이제 근육이 안 생기는 스타일이라. 오 왜요? 글쎄요. <웃음> 아니, 그... 와우. She's too much sometimes, like. 안 생기는 스타일이라. 오, 왜요? 어? 글쎄요. <웃음> oh, she's really nervous, actually. 아니, 신께 물어보면 알수 있지 않을까요? <웃음> 진짜 죄송한데. 네. 슈퍼스타잖아요. 그쵸, 그쵸. 왜 이렇게 경직돼 있어요? 저희가 외부 촬영을 하도 안 하다 보니까 제가 사실 이제 그 보통 술자리 가면 네. 대부분 이 눈도 잘안 마주치고 그렇게 대화를 하기는 해요. 진짜? 근데 지금은 일이니까 바짝 버티고 있다. 그쵸. 와, 김종신 님에게 박수 한번 주십시오. 그 방법을 하나 제가 솔루션 알고 있습니다. 뭔데요? 저는 58도 술을 몇잔 때려서 이미 지금 사람이 저먼 지경에 가 있다. 왜, 왜, 왜? 왜냐면 너무 부담스러운 자리이기 때문에. 아, 네, 부담스러워서 음... 좀 감사한 자리. She's drunk already, huh? Yeah, it sucks when you're drunk and the person you're meeting is not drunk. <laughs> I feel you. 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 Oh, there's a lot of staff. Ah, so allergy. I'm going to put it in the car. 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 Superstar tendencies right here. I'm going to put it in the car. He's not going to pay. I'm going to put it in the car. 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 다른 오. 약이랍니다. 아니요, 맞아요, 맞아요, 맞아요. 서, 선생님? 보세요, 봐봐요. 빠르게 느껴지는 시원함. 0.1 분무제. 선생님, 그러다고 광고 안 들어와요. <웃음> 감사합니다. <웃음> You're not gonna get a sponsor that way. 건강하세요. 제가 대신 싸웠습니다. 아주 훌륭해요. 네. 제, 제가 봐왔던 텐션이 아닌데? <웃음> 무슨 텐션을 봐오셨길래. <웃음> 평소보다 더. 네. Yo, girl, sit down. Let's have a combo. 음주를 두잔더 때린 텐션. 더 때렸어, 더 때렸어, 완전 더 때렸어. 오늘이 또 마지막 과자였어. 아 마지막 과자. 유종의 미. 제가 또 인서울이거든요. 이런 거잘 알아요. <웃음> <웃음> 인서울이라 못 산다. 아또 건국대. 아 어떻게 하셨어요? 어떻게 알겠냐? 어떻게 알겠냐? 먹고 살려면 다다 다 조사를 해야 돼. <웃음> 먹고 살려면 it's not to survive, to eat and live. I need. To not to survive is just summarizing. To eat and live. Ah, 때리는 줄 알았네. 슈퍼. 죄송한데 좀 약간 그 제가 사회성이 좀 결여돼 있어요. 사회성이 왜 결여돼가 있어요? 왜냐면은 이제 스무 살 때부터 연습생 생활을 시작했는데. 맞네. 네. 근데 이제 그때부터 이제 친구도 없고 이러다 보니까. 친구가 없어요. 네. 왜 친구 없어? 제 핸드폰이 기록 이 전화번호 목록을 찾아보면 연예인 친구가 열 명이 안 돼요. 진짜? 
왜요? 음. 대부분 사람들도 이제 저희 부담스럽다고 보통 친구로도 잘안 놀아주더라고요. 진짜? 네. 아유 저는 술 덕분인지 모르겠는데. Let's make a list. Anybody want to be on the list to be a uh, Jin's friend? <웃음> 근데 아마 부담스럽지는 않아요. 제가 되게 동네 친구 같고요. Yeah, right. <웃음> 왜, 왜, 왜? 본인이 저보다 더 긴장을 하셔가지고. 아, 왜, 야외, 외부 촬영 되게 오랜만에. 진짜, 아, 마지막 외부 촬영 언제였는데? 5년 전인가, 6년 전인가. 그럼 우리 지금 되게 감격스러운 상황인 거 아니야? 박수. 이러면 안 돼! <웃음> <웃음> 죄송한데, 네. 제가 더 당황을 해야 맞는 수순인 것 같은데, 본인이 막더 안전 부조를 못 하는. 인터넷으로만 봐가지고, 이제 또좀 연예인 같은 느낌. <웃음> 아, 저희가 연예인 만날 기회가 많이 없어서. 부수지 마! 부수지 마! 부수지 마! <웃음> 엄마한테 자랑 좀 해도 되나요? 아 자랑을 좀 엄마. 해주세요. 엄마! 엄마! <웃음> 저 맞아. 와, 진 씨가 와인을 좋아한다고. 저희 집에 아, 그 아버지가 막 와인을 막 30평, 50평씩 사다 드시고. 아 진짜? 네. 한 백에 9천 원짜리 이렇게 막. 오 30평, 진짜? 네. 생각보다 좀 검소하게 드시는 편이시는데. 와인 같은 약간 그런 좀 전문 분야에는 돈을 좀 많이 쓰기 마련이잖아요. 그래도. 아 근데 저는 이제 사실 인생에 있어서 저랑 BTS 그리고 팬들. 아. 까지 이렇게 제외하고는 이제 흥미가 없어가지고 진짜? 네. 그래서 와인에도 별... 네. 뭐 제가 좋아하는 거에도 막 뭐가 어떻게 되, 되는지 네. 뭐 내가 약속을 다른 사람이랑 뭘 했는지 네. 대부분 다막 까먹고 이래가지고 진짜? 제가 먹는 술이 몇 도인지도 모르고 진짜? 네. 정말 정확한 가격 금액대도 모르고 진짜? <웃음> 저는 스타일 팀이 진짜 제일 좋아해요. 왜냐면 스타일 팀이 옷을 갖다 주면 아 전문가들이 그냥 나한테 이쁜 옷 갖다 줬겠지 이래가지고 <웃음> 네. 왜 웃어요? 아니 그냥 웃겨요. 아, 제가... That's so true. You know? They're so like bordered off with the real world. You know? They don't know what's like in trend. They just like they give them clothes and you go, oh, is this what? Everyone's wearing these days, okay, you know, because they're not out in the Korean department store anymore, you know. They don't go out shopping. They don't know what, how much like a, a bottle or a carton of milk is, you know, like this. And this happens with my father too, you know, this, yeah, he doesn't, you know, he's not out there buying orange juice, you know, at the store. He doesn't know how much it is. 좀 큐트하긴 해가지고 <웃음> 비슷한 의미긴 한데요 <웃음> 서칭을 하면서 하면서 느낄수록 정말 진정성 있는 사람이라는 거 저는 많이 느꼈어요 뭐, 뭐가 진정성? 사람이 진정성 있다 그치 그런 설명이 필요한가요? 아 필요 없죠 생긴 거부터 그냥 진, 드러나잖아요 생긴 거랑 별개로 <웃음> 아 그런가? 생긴 건 너무 수려하게 생기셨지만 그거랑 별개로 네. 저 되게 사람이 진정성 있다. 이 일에 당신의 모든 것을 쏟고 있다라는 느낌을 아 그건 맞지. 내가 이일 때문에 진짜 인간 관계도 그냥 다 제대 아, 제대 파탄 내고 지금 났어? 박살 났어 지금. 저는 인간 관계 박살이 났어요. 친구가 굉장히 많아. 아까 어떻게 끝낸 준? 되신 것 같던데. 저는 친구가 다섯 손가락도 안 들어요. 다섯 손가락도 안 들어요. 제가 카톡을 그렇게 안 읽기로 유명해가지고 맞고 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 맞고. 고만 <웃음> 일어나요 좀. 고만 <웃음> 일어날게요. 아 제가 이게 습관이어가지고 아, 일어나는 게. 아 오케이 오케이. 전 다른 사람들한테 맞추는 게 습관이라. 진짜? 음. 근데 그런 성격이 피곤해. 죄송합니다. <웃음> <웃음> 진짜 눈물이 다 날라 그러네 지금. 그게 아니라 본인이 힘들다고. 제가요? 아닌가? 아니, 너무 좋은데요? 진짜? 야, 너무 행복해. 나만 쓰레기가 됐네. <웃음> 어떻게 알아? 뒤에 아, 잉글리시로 트래시라 하거든요. <웃음> 영지 씨 잉글리시 좀 치신다고 제가 좀 들어. Yeah, Alright, they're getting on similar wavelengths. 주파수. 그렇거든요. 나 잉글리시지. 잉글리시로 자기 소개 한 번만 부탁드려도 되나요? Hi. Hi. t h a 아, 다가오지 마세요. <웃음> okay. Hey. My hobby. Hobby. Talking with BTS. 그거 합이라고 하긴 좀. <웃음> <웃음> 우리 오늘 퍼스트 타임인데. <웃음> 근데 제가 지금 이렇게 진실을 보잖아요. 근데 되게 편안한 느낌이 나거든요. 되게 뭔가 편안하고. 제가 좀 편하게 생기긴 했어요. 그렇진 않아요. 죄송합니다. <웃음> <웃음> 좀 화려하고 수려하게 생기긴 했어요, 제가. 객관화가 잘 되시네요, 제가. <웃음> 남의 말을 적극적으로 수용하는 타입이라. 정말 좋은 스타일이에요. 네, 나 근데 5초 전에 먹었는데. 
자료를 찾아보는데도 아, 네. 진씨 얼굴 보면 웃음이 난다고. 맞지. 참치 저... 노래 부르는데도 그런 거왜 찾아봤어요? 난 찾아보지. 그 당신이 사람들 보라고 만든 거 아니요? 팬들만 보라고 그냥. 난 팬이지. A R M Y G. A R M Y G. A R M Y G. 몇 기예요? <웃음> 그건 와인이 아닌 것 같은데. 이거 와인이에요, 와인. 음, 뜨거, 떡, 떡, 말아 보세요. 와인 스펠링이 F I N 인가? 그. Fine. 김석진 씨 아. 외모가 수려하다 하는 얘기죠. 아저 씨가. 와인이 근데 얼마만큼 따라드려야 많이 따라드리 잘 따라드리는 건지 모르겠네. 네, 근데 저는 와인 잔도 그냥 일반 컵에 따라 먹어요. 진짜? 네. 나랑 주식을 몇 상통하는 부분이 있네. 아. 얼마 정도 따라 따라야 되나? 아, 보통 저는 이제 컵 가득 따르고 그냥. 컵 가득. 네. 가득 따른다고요? 네. 어차피 다 먹을 거니까. 아. 다 드실 거예요? 다안 먹어요. 다. 여기 게스트들 보통 얼마 정도 드시고 가시나요? 어 다른 분들 같은 경우에는 보통은 일단 계속 게임을 통해서 술을 무슨, 좀 약간 벌치고 <웃음> 게임 하고 싶어요. 저술 저 게임 하고 싶어요. 진짜? 아나 스무 살때 연습생 들어오고 나서 회사에서 막 관리한다고 막술못 먹게 해가지고 나 그런 거못 해봤어. 다 부셔버릴게요 제가. <웃음> 왜 자꾸 부셔? 그 집. 아 이제 집값이 얼마인데 뭘 자꾸 부셔? <웃음> 아왜 그래요 진짜? <웃음> 야, 얘 이거 먹으니까 이게 아주 달다 그냥. 달죠, 달죠. 아, 야, 포도주스가 따로 없네. 쪼레미지, 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 아, 아 포도주스가 따로 없다 그냥. 베스킨 라빈스리 와, 두 명이서 되나? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28 29, 30. 마셔라. <웃음> <웃음> 마셔라 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 술 들어간다 옷 있어 옷 있어 옷 안내 역결이 와아 탈골 대참 아 탈골 아 탈골 박사 한번 쳐주세요 음. 근데 진짜 정말 죄송한데 안주가 없나요? 이거? 안주 안주 봐봐 <웃음> 물회 물회 물회라 일주일에 다 소금 먹는다 어제 점심에도 먹었잖아 진짜? 네. 죄송한데 앞이 잘 보이나요 김석진 씨? 네. 어 너무 Baskin Robbins is, is uh so you're in a group okay? And you can uh, count to up to three. It's your choice. You can count one, two, three. You can count one or two. And it goes to the other person in the group. Whoever, whoever hits 31 is going to drink. So you control it in a group. Y you understand? It's very beautiful. 눈앞이 캄캄하구나. 진짜 너무 캄캄. 아 눈앞이 캄캄하구나 지금. 모래가 검정색으로 보여. 실버 유튜브 이건 뭐야? 봐봐 봐봐 봐봐. 우리가 지금 이거 아케노카 아케노다가 김석진 씨 온다고 해가지고 앞에 위에 참 크래커 올려놓고 지금 그냥 얼마나 열심히 열심히 하고 있는데 참 크래 한 입도 안 먹고. 이제. 저 과자 안 먹어. 아, 왜 과자를 안 먹어? 슬퍼서. 저는 이제 식사 아니면 잘안 먹어요. 식사로 그러면 물회만 먹고 그래서 당신이 그렇게 마른 거야. 내가 많이 먹을수록 무대에서 더 많이 뛸수 있단 말이야. 그럼 무대에서 더 많이 뛰면 사람들이 더 좋아한단 말이야. 그러니까 더 많이 먹는 거지. 나보다 무대 많이 뛰어. Why are you guys still standing up? <웃음> 뭐, 뭔 말도 당신, 안 되는 소리 하고 있는 당신! 왜? 나 너무 서운해. 서운할 거 하나도 없어. 왜 서운할 게 하나가 없어? 음, 왜냐면 당신 스물한 살이고 난 서른 한 살이잖아. 서른 한 살이에요? 내 나이가 몇 살이지? 92년생이잖아. 아, 아, 잠깐만. 야, 석진아, 너 서울대, 아니, 서울대 가. 이거 봐! 이럴 줄 알았다, 내가 당신! 아, 이 사람아, 내가! <웃음> 사전 인터뷰에 주량이 소주 한 병이라고 얘기를 해. 봐봐. 그래서 <웃음> 사전 인터뷰. 난 당신 멋있어. 왜? 58도짜리 술을 아무렇지 않게 우리 팬들을 위해서 마셔줬잖아. 내가 옛날. He has such a good personality. You know? Like he just macho. Like uh... goes with the flow. You know, whatever comes his way. It's just such a good, fluid, adapt, adaptable personality. 옛날에 그 스무 살때 먹었던 술 이름이 바카땡이었는데 바카땡? 응 어, 바카디라고 바카디! 바카디! 거기에 불 붙이니까 불이 붙더라고 <웃음> 나두잔 먹고 집 가는 길에 그 뭐냐 횡단보도 앞에서 기억을 잃었잖아 진짜로? 어. 근데 오늘도 기억을 좀 잃을 것 같아요? 괜찮아 개, 뭐가 괜, 당신, 괜찮아 당신이, 당신이 집이니까 괜찮겠지? <웃음> 아니 우리 집 여기서 멀다니까 내가 아니 괜찮아 괜찮아 우리 게임 하나 합시다 아, 무슨 게임이에요? 저거 저거 합시다 저거 뭐? 당신이 건국대 할리갈리 과라며 어떻게 알았지? 난 나야지 나 진짜 난 아무리 할리갈리? 
근데 쟤도 할리 갈리 할수 있어. 알지. 근데 책상 부서질 텐데 괜찮겠어요? 완전 괜찮아. 다 빼. 다 빼. Oh my god, he is drunk too now. 나 책상 부서져도 몰라 진짜로. 할리 갈리 할줄 알아요? 왜 나를 무시하는 거야? 당신을 무시한 적 없어. 당신의 할리 갈리 실력을 무시했지. 나 당, 나 공국대 할리 갈리? 나 고등학교 할리 갈리. 무슨 할리 갈리? 58도 술 따라 짓는 사람 먹는 거야. 아, 진짜 잘 써. 진짜 먹어. 당신 무르기 없어? 없어? 당신 진짜 혼날 준비했으면 좋겠어. 당... <웃음> 주파수 맞았어. 당신이 혼날 준비했으면 좋겠어. 아, 나 진짜 미치겠네 이거. <웃음> 자, 할수 있죠? 아, 할수 있지. 이제 간다. 간다. 먼저 해. 당신. <웃음> 먼저 안 내면지고 가위바위보야. 당신, 안 당신. 왜? 허저, 허접이야? 허접이야? <웃음> 자리 안고 자리 안고 가위바위보 해 아니 이걸 한 손에 잡고 그러니까 귀에 손을 얹어야 이제 할리갈리를 하는 사람이 뭐 하는 거야 지금 oh 왜한 손을 God. 귀를 잡아야 돼 당신 그러면 내 중학교 고등학교 친구들한테 뺨 맞아 He's now like her. <laughs> They're the same now. They are one. Why one hand? Why key to grab? This is Gungnuri. Ah, really? This is Gungnuri. I understand. I understand. I understand. You don't give up. You don't give up. You don't give up. Okay, okay. Go. 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 추작했잖아. 뭘 추작해? <웃음> 내가 타짜야? 추작했잖아. 한번더 해? <웃음> 연습 게임, 연습 게임. <웃음> 디스. 네. 내가 먼저지. <웃음> <웃음> 귀를 잡아야 된다고? 왜? 이게 이게 기본 조건이에요. <웃음> 기본 조건이에요. <웃음> 내가 당신 오늘 이길 아니, 거야. 이겨 아, 해 먹어 먹어. 이거 지는 순간 바로 먹는 걸로 오케이. 해. 오케이 당신 카메라 앞에서 이런 말 하기 좀 그러지만 당신 술로 혼나고 싶어. <웃음> <웃음> 김석진 씨 나를 맛봐. 아 oh, I love this. I love this. I love this version of him. 맞지? 내 아니야. 순발력 보통 안 삶아야. 그럼 내가 먼저 한다. 네. 아! 왜? 분해? 아니 잠깐만 왜, 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 왜. 너무한 거 아니야? 왜? 내가 당신보다 열 살이 적잖아 아... <웃음> 아... <웃음> 그럼 나는 1초 세고 칠게요 그러면 1초 세고 칠게 내가 봐줄게 그냥 왜, 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 뭐 무슨 일인데 무슨 일인데 소리를 질러 갑자기 계속해 알았어 계속해 <웃음> 왜, 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 왜 웃어? 1 <웃음> 주작이야. 뭐? 이거 주작이야. 뭐 무슨? 아 이미 셌잖아. 왜왜 아, 왜? 일 셌잖아. 왜 뭐? 왜 무슨 주작이야? 주세요 술 주세요. 죄송한데요, 김석진 씨 아. 저를 얕보지 마세요. 저 진짜 보통 아니에요? <웃음> 어? 당신 그런 척하면서 은근슬쩍 술 흘리지 말아줬으면 좋겠어. <웃음> 김석진 씨, 58도 술이 무섭지 않죠? 네. 여, 58. 네. 무섭지 않아요? 당신이 다 먹을 거니까. 제... 저, 저 잘해요? 아, really? 아, 죄송해요. 어, 얼마 전에 아메리카 다녀와서. 아메리카 다녀오셨다고 영어 남발하지 마세요. 아, sorry, sorry, S R Y. 아, 아 이거 아, 미국 사람들이 줄여서 말하는 건데 제가 한. 아, 자, 죄송합니다. 괜찮아요? 오케이. 자신 있어? 어, 자신 있어? 자신 있지, 자신 있어. 아! <웃음> <웃음> 정돈을 좀 잘해야 돼. 아, 진짜, sorry, sorry. 아! 아, 왜? 아, 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 아
<웃음> oh my god, you knew too. 죄송한데 김성진 씨 오늘 만약에 촬영 실패해서 제 촬영에도 오실 건가요 혹시? Wait, drink, drink real then, both of you. 누구세요? <웃음> 누구세요? <웃음> 술 어디 있어? 내 와인 어디 갔어? 아 제작진, come on. 이현지. 아 이현지 정철이야. 와 이거 10년 전 모델 아니에요? 와. 와. 저는 괜찮은데 이분이 그만 먹어야 되는 거 아니에요? 지금 슈퍼샵 추출을 드세요. 아 진짜 많은 사람들이 몰라줬으면 좋겠어 이 노래. 아 진짜. 아 너무 부끄러워 진짜. This song. 아. 아, 나 진짜 이 노래 진짜 몰라줬으면 좋겠거든. 아, 근데 아, 왜 추고 있어, 춤은? 아, 아, 왜냐면 그 형이랑 그냥 놀러 가려고 만든 노래였어. 범주, 범주 씨랑? 아, 범주 형, 아, 범주 형이랑 진짜 놀러 가려고 어거지로 만든 노래였는데, 그 형이랑 좀더 인간적인 관계를 더 맺고 싶어가지고, 음. 그 노래가 맞다. 진짜 10분, 20분 만에 나왔어. 아, 진짜로? 그냥, 일상적인 대화를 이제 가사에 한 음. 80% 정도 입혔고 어. 슈퍼 참치는 하루도 녹음을 안 했어요. 진짜? 한 2시간 녹음했어요, 진짜로. 근데 나는 당신 정말 대단하다고 생각해. 대한민국 문화의 발전에 이바지해서 해줘서 정말 고맙다는 얘기를 하고 싶었어. 제가 했으니까 저희 멤버들이 했지. 어. 근데 사람이 관심 주면은 이제 저는 그렇게 생각해요. 잃을 게 있다고 생각해요. 왜냐면 맞아. 사람들이 이제 나를 보고 싶어 한다고 해서 내가 많은 것들을 보여주면은 사람들이 보고 싶어 하는 느낌을 줄 수도 있지만 음. 보기 싫은 모습도 보여준다고 생각해요. 그래가지고. He's kind of drunk, huh? 그리고 그쵸. 저의 단점들은 최대한 보여주고 싶지 않아요. 왜냐면 저도. No, he becomes cute when he gets drunk. <웃음> 뭐 게임이나 이런 거 많은 것들을 좋아하는 이제 음. 오타쿠로서 음. 이제 저도 그거에 감정 이입을 해가지고 팬들이 보고 싶어하는 모습만 보여주고 싶다라는 마인드가 있어서. Oh my god, 눈 풀렸어. Like his eyes are like, like gone. <웃음> 뭐 예를 들면 제가 방송에서 나쁜 말을 한다거나 이런 모습들은 보여주고 싶지 않고 팬들한테는 좋아하지 않을 법한 모습들은 별로 보여주고 싶지 않아죠. 근데 김석진 씨가 살면서 제 <웃음> 안아줘 or 알아줘 what he said at the end you can see like he's gone. 어, 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 어. 낼 법한 모습들은 별로 보여주고 싶지 않아죠. Yes, 안아줘. <laughs> that that look right there is how you end the sentence when you're drunk. But Kim Seok Jin is living the most important thing. What is it? A little bit of burden, a little bit of burden. What is it? This is very important. One of the reasons we do well is that the members are willing to do what they want. If someone thinks they are doing well, if someone wants to do what they want, the team is very difficult to do with each other. But if they don't do it, if they don't do it, if they don't do it, then the team is going to be able to do it. I think that's what I think. Let's go back. It's very important for a group to uh, have that mentality, you know? And it's very difficult. You know, like everybody wants to be famous and mo and fame is like a rabbit hole. The more you go down, the more you want it. And it's an endless, endless, endless. Uh, and, you know, people tend to start thinking about themselves only. But the fact that they keep on, they're aware of this right now and they try to keep things in perspective. That, that's how you maintain a group long term, you know. But he is gone. <laughs> you know, people get drunk. You revert to a more basic version of yourself. And this is his true form, you know, without the ability to hide or, you know, be more nuanced. This is who he is. You take everything out. This is his honest form. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Oh, this is a high-up camera. Let's talk to him. Hi hi. Ah, our manager is doing well. Yes, he's doing well. I'm now going to be a little bit more. I'm curious. This is 
촬영 끝나면 떼요 안 떼요? 안 떼요. 나도 여기 붙여주나? 붙여주세요. 어, 때리지 마. <웃음> 사인하자 그래도 김석진 씨. 잠깐만 나 통화로 갔다 올게. <웃음> 큐트하네. 나 여기 있었어. 그만 취해라. <웃음> 영지 씨 우리 내일도 촬영해요. 오 마이 갓 냉면 맛있다 먹어봤어요? 어? 이거 드실래요? 또? 마... 아니요 새거 드세요 <웃음> 잠들었나? 시풍말 무슨 잠이 들어요 <웃음> 그럼 제가 마무리하겠습니다 저 찍어주세요 빨리 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 자 하나 둘셋 자, 이렇게 차린 거는 <웃음> trying, to, trying to uh do this while you're drunk is probably difficult. 쥐뿔도 없지만 촬영이 마무리가 됐습니다. 아, 저희 이 어린 친구가 <웃음> that picture. <웃음> 아, 이제 또그 음주에 많이 취해 가지고 지금 잠들게 되었는데 어, 이 친구는 여기서 이제 자게 하고 저도 이제 집으로 가는 것으로 마무리를 짓도록 하겠습니다. 차린 건 쥐뿔도 없지만 지금 이제는 이제 휴식기에 들어가게 되지만 이제 마무리를 이제 입으로 얘기해도 좀 곤란하지만 슈퍼스타로 마무리 지었으니까 저는 여태까지 차린 마무리 지었으니까 저는 여태까지 찬인 거는 쥐뿔도 없지만 많이들 사랑해 주셔서 너무 감사합니다. <웃음> 그러면 촬영 찬인 건 쥐뿔도 없지만 아, 촬영을 마무리하도록 하겠습니다. 자 하나 둘셋 찬인 건 쥐뿔도 없지만 사랑합니다. <웃음> 저는 <웃음> The day after 태어나서 단한 번도 제가 대단한 사람이라거나 뭐 사랑받아 마땅할 사람이라는 오만함이나 허영심을 가지고 살아왔던 사람이 아니, 아니지만 너무 감사하게도 짧은 시간, 뭐 짧다면 짧고 길다면 긴 시간 동안 정말 많은 사랑과 성원과 관심 보내주셔서 절대로 저 혼자만이 이룩한 결과가 아니라고 저는 정말 생각하고요. 여기 도와주시는 모든 PD님, 작가님, 그리고 카메라 감독님, 그리고 우리 양, 양평동에 거주하시는 주민분들, 그리고 여기 계시는 뒤에 예쁘게 자리하고 계시는 수많은 게스트분들, 아름다운 게스트분들이 모두 합쳐서, 그리고 여러분들, 시청자분들까지 모두 합쳐서 만들어낸 따뜻하고 아름다운 결과라고 생각하지만 지금 이렇게 장황하게 말을 늘어나서 마치 시즌이 영영 종료가 된 것처럼 얘기를 하겠지만 절대 이 시즌은 계속 고 온앤 온앤 온, 스틸 고 온앤 온앤 온이니까 여러분들 걱정하지 마시고 저희는 재정비하고 차츰차츰 그냥 룰루루루 Nice picture. This was when they were sober, probably? <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of soberness there. <clears throat> That's not how they ended. Yes. Okay, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I think we all know, uh, we all knew uh, what kind of person uh, Jin is, but it's nice to see him. When you're drunk, you kind of revert back to your most strongest personality traits. Um, Jin is kind of like innocent, cute, and like, you know, happy. Uh, for me, when I get drunk, I revert to loudness, excitement, um, happiness. That's me when I drink. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's true. I mean, a lot of people who haven't who don't who are not able to take an alcohol will just fall asleep and um we aren't able to see their true personalities come out but for me my base personality when i drink loud excited happy pumped hyped yeah
There is a drink. 76%, 70%, 72%, 76%. Do you guys know that drink? Because I took a shot of that and I was just gone one night. I remember I was DJing at a club. I go, yo, take this. It's like 70 something. Like, do you guys know that drink? It's a, uh, I don't know. It's not an Asian drink. I, I, it was a. Uh... Oh, yeah, you've seen me drunk. Yeah, yes, that's right. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's take a short break. We are going to do some other stuff. What is on the list for us to do? Oh, we have a lot. Jeez, this is just like... Okay, BTS Army documentary. We have Run BTS coming up. We have about a good solid two hours ahead of us. So let's take a short break. One song. Uh, one song break. And we will con reconvene. Um, I am thinking, uh, I know the perfect song for right now. One song break. We go now. Ah, 
라이브로 에이 내 진짜 소리 들어봐 제멋대로 널 부르잖아 이 가만 나좀 속에서 너는 이렇게 빛나니까 그 손을 내밀어줘 Save me, save me I need your love it for you Okay, we are back. We are back. Uh, Jin is going to Argentina. Uh, on the 28th uh, and he will be at the Coldplay concert am I right? is this correct? and Argentinians are scrambling to get some tickets <laughs> so you go I root for you Argentinian army get them tickets uh, Micaela, Vicky uh, good luck to you for getting uh, tickets all right, let's move on. We got the next segment of the live stream. It is BTS Army documentary, You Never Walk Alone, part one. This is a documentary, a short one, uh, about you guys. It's a two-part series. About, yeah, it's a very short uh, documentary, and I uh, wanted to watch this sometime. Uh, today is a perfect day because I have uh, plenty of time for this live stream. We get into it now. Viewer discretion is advised. Mm. Scary. I was being bullied a lot in school because of my weight. So um, BTS helped me kind of get through all the hard times and stuff. 2016 especially because I self-harmed a lot. And... Um, we are bulletproof. The eternal Hobie's line always gets. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Oh my god! I'm getting so many goosebumps right now. Wow. So I kind of threw away everything. I was like, I'm done. I can't do this. Like, if I lose my life now, I lose them. I couldn't do it. That song just means so much. I started listening to K-pop in like 2010, 2011, so it was like Super Junior, 21, that kind of era. And then I found BTS when they first debuted in 2013, and they looked so different. I was like, who is this? I watched the Danger dance practice, and I was immediately hooked because they were just amazing dancers. Like I had never seen anything like that before. I had a friend, uh, she was my roommate in college. We were driving around and she had been obsessed. I think that night before actually she had fallen into a rabbit hole and like started learning all of their names and it was over from there. And the next day she played um, Blood, Sweat and Tears in the car and I was like, okay, you know, this is a nice song. And the next song that comes up was Fire. And all I hear is Suga's voice when he says, and I was like, wait, wait, rewind that. 
불타오르네. Uh, actually, it was Ashley, uh, my wife, who put. Uh, she just put. I believe it was DNA music video, and she put that up on like the screens, like right before her class. And I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Once we started dating, is where uh, we st is where I started learning more about BTS, and so started like develop like just thinking and like like listening to all their stuff over time. Eventually, my bias became uh, Jungkook, and then. Pretty much, it kind of just went downhill. Not downhill, but it kind of just went upwards from there. My daughter had been a fan of BTS since 2015. She, being my daughter, got on my social media and followed all the BTS accounts. <laughs> so I happened to be on my phone when the Dynamite comeback happened, and so I was like, okay, I'll watch this. And I loved it. Uh, they did the Grand Central Station on performance, and uh, they were outstanding. And then the pandemic started um, three weeks later or something. So I thought, oh, I want to see that video again. And I looked it up and then clicked on something else and clicked on something else. And then I watched their <laughs> run episodes. Clicked on something else. <laughs> which are pretty funny. And uh, it just brought me a lot of happiness. You know? BTS has helped me through all the hardships that I've faced um, since becoming an army. My home life is not great. <laughs> it is not good. It's kind of like a back and forth, kind of toxic relationship. Back in like April, mostly like very late March, and even it got the worst on my birthday in, in May 4th. Um, in which I literally lost my physical ability to actually talk. Um, even, even like I couldn't form sentences anymore. I could only speak with like maybe one or two, three words without having a complete mental breakdown. I was ready to be hospitalized and have someone watch me. That's how bad it got. I was in college and I didn't know what was wrong with me. And um, I had, you know, I had a lot of health issues. I was having a lot of doctor's visits and, and no one could really tell me what was going on. Basically what happens is the spine uh, produces fluid, like every, everyone's body produces fluid for the brain to, you know, work and function. Mine either overproduces or just doesn't drain properly. It causes a lot of vertigo. It causes a lot of um, like nausea and fatigue and uh, even looking at you now, like I'm seeing double. I lost my, I called him my papal, my grandfather. Mm -hmm. um, it was April of last year. Then, um, my grandmother passed away from COVID um, in August. Yeah, that, was, that was hard. Um, they were married for like 62 years. So yeah, it's really hard. Actually might need a tissue for this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't even expect this was gonna happen. Hey, Lord. <sighs> the song that actually I related most to them was actually Film Out. From all the memories stored in my heart, I gather up the ones of you, link them together, Gazing at them projected across the room. I feel you with every burst of pain. It just kind of, it reminded me of their relationship so much. And then also of like me and the family not being able to see 
him ever again. I actually showed that to my mom and my two aunts. They're all sisters. Um, and they all cried because <laughs> it was like, they understood. Um, they know how much BTS means to me and they watched it and read the lyrics and everything and they, they were like, yeah, that is yeah, very meaningful. It was like, pretty much encapsulates the grieving process, I guess. Um, and that kind of actually helped me um, a lot. I don't think I would have been able to get through all of that um, as well as I had without, without them, at least. So, I don't know. <laughs>COVID happened, I didn't really realize how depressed I had become because I couldn't go anywhere and I was used to long drives to Girl Scout events with my daughter in the car or um, just going out with my husband for a movie or dinner or whatever and it was just kind of the day to day to day just being at home kind of got to me. Uh, it really kind of threw everybody into a loop because we were so uncertain about whether we were actually going to get concerts back, if we were, if any of this was ever going to happen. And when they put out B, it was like just a breath of fresh air in this world of us not knowing what was going to happen. She played Blue and Gray for me when B came out and I didn't had no idea what the song was about. We, she played it in the car, and I was so moved by the depth of emotion I heard in the, the performance that I said, okay, I've, I have to look this up. My daughter, um, I love her to death. Um, she has struggled with depression and anxiety for a really, really long time. But again, with COVID, she became really withdrawn because school was all online. She didn't want to deal with people. Um, and that included us, um, her family. So she would hide in her room a lot. And it was really hard anytime I tried to engage in a conversation with her. Of course, she was also a little bit younger then. And, you know, she was at that stage where everything I say is nonsense. Um, but when we started talking about BTS, then we, it gave us a common ground and we could open up conversations about other things. So the topics that BTS would sing about, we would talk about. So Blue and Gray, for example, talking about anxiety and depression, we were able to talk about her anxiety and depression as we started listening to the lyrics and breaking down the lyrics of their song. Mental health has always been really, like a really big issue. Um, and to know that they actually care and they speak to that uh, in their music is really important. Yeah. 
She, like I said, she struggles with depression, and so Butterfly was kind of the song that really made her feel like, hey, I, you know, this, I can get through this. And so Butterfly is kind of the song that we will listen to when we're kind of sad. Will you stay by my side? Will you promise me, if I touch you, that you might fly away, and you might be shattered? I think. So, when back maybe quite a, more than a few years ago, I was in my deepest, darkest foot, my depression, and I nearly was not here anymore. Uh, and I know that at that point in time, a lot of people in my life um, were trying to reach me, but they were scared that I'd break. If they either tried too hard or they tried to uh, hug me or whatever, that I would just fall apart and I would leave. So that kind of, so Butterfly in a way reminded me um, it's like, I'm scared that if I let go of you, or if I come too close, that you will fly away and that you will drift to a place where I can't find you. The only time in that moment of panic for that month and a half where I barely spoke, the only time I actually had uh, courage, confidence, and uh, that lighter feeling was when I was listening to their music. Even if it was just three minutes, four minutes, if someone were to come and ask me a question when I was like, feeling more leveled because I was listening to them, I would, could actually form like more than just one or two words or not in my head. I watch a lot of reactors on YouTube and they always, they're always saying, you know, um, the old um, intro was big hit entertainment music for healing. And they're always, always like, yeah, that's, that's so true. Like you don't have to understand them to feel the emotions in their songs. You can just listen to them and just know how they feel in each song all the time. I just love music and how you can speak through it and just there's, there's a lot of things that can transcend and whenever I found BTS it, it really does do that and I'm, I'm sure you guys I mean at the concert, if you really can see the crowd and like all the ethnicities and people and all these different ages and everything and languages, and I think that's awesome. Yeah. I just think their message is universal and music, of course. You don't have to understand opera to be moved by it. Well, it's in another language, but you certainly feel the music whether you know what they're saying or not. And I think it's the same thing with BTS. They have songs that address issues, uh, mental health issues that are present in, at any time of life. It's not just for adolescents or young people in their 20s. It's, it's stuff that resonates with people my age and older. We've struggled, we've had pain, we've had a hard time getting through this. This makes people feel they're not alone, that hey, I, I think I'm only having these feelings, that's not true. And then you see these, um, they're talented and attractive and wealthy and you're like, well, they can go through this and are having a hard time and, you know, um, it happens to everybody. Life is different with BTS because 
well, as I said, it's a neutral place for my daughter and I to kind of go, and it brings us together and brings us joy. It's a place where we can have joy together before those moments were few and far between. Now we have joy together a lot. It, it's just a nice, I don't know how to describe it, it's just a nice way for us to put aside all the day-to-day -day strife and the, the difficulties of being a mom and a daughter and enjoy something together. Because of the PCOS, because of the hypothyroid, because of stuff that's just going on in my body, I just was bedridden a lot. A lot of, you know, days I was down, I would escape into BTS. BTS was like the light that came into my life. Every day I had something to look forward to. They had years and years of material and they just made me laugh. I belly laughed for the first time in years. I grew up with them is what I always say. I'm doing a lot better now, actually. Um, I've grown definitely a lot since high school. <laughs> that was like six years ago. But my mental health is a lot better than it used to be. It's so much about, I guess, progression and seeing how they were at one point and then now seeing where they're at now and understanding that not like you can have the same trajectory, but you can have like progression and progress and things understanding that like, chi like change will happen is like very okay to know. And it's very okay to like not only experience that, but to be open about it. Uh, uh, listen, there's a lot up here, but what he just said is just so freaking true. Oh my god, I never even thought about that, actually. Let's just listen to it one more time, what he says. Mental health is a lot better than it used to be. It's so much about, I guess, progression. And seeing how they were at one point, and then now seeing where they're at now, and understanding that, not like you can have the same trajectory, but you can have like progression and progress and things understanding that like chi like change will happen is like very okay to know. And it's very okay to like not only experience that but to be open about it. Uh, their song Pied Piper. Uh, they pretty much um, tell you that you, you know, you know, you love us but you need to get yourself together. And when I first heard that song, uh, I. I had taken a break from my program due for mental reasons. I didn't want to lose the progress I had and I didn't know how to find that again and then that song. And then they woke me up. And shortly after they woke up, I opened up my laptop to look at my classes. And <laughs> now I literally, right before I came here, on Friday, I just finished my clinicals on Thursday, so, hi. I was like, I'm gonna make you proud of me. I'll always have something to escape to. I'll always have something to kind of remind me to push myself. And as far as just social activism as well, and just being kind and loving people, and. I didn't really have much kindness before, and I think BTS has really helped me have compassion for other people and just, just, you know, understand that other people are going through things too, and you kind of just want to be a light to their, to their world in, in any kind of way. I mean, I, I constantly see the impact they are making in Ashley's life. And for me, there's like a, there's a sense of like appreciation knowing that like, even though they don't know it, that they are helping someone that they don't know. I've come a long way in terms of being able to vocalize again um, since I had lost that. And thank you for giving me back my voice. Um, music, life, myself, things that um, no one else can give me, uh, but your music found a way. 
Um, you know, I, I um, saw a picture of John Cook uh, on the beach. It's his picture on Instagram. And uh, we were in California at the same time. And we have a picture of the same sunset. And I said, would I have gone up to John Cook and what would I have said to him? Would I have fangirled? Fan woman, um, or would I just let him be and let him relax and meditate or whatever he was doing? And my son goes, "No, you would just go up and say thank you," and that's what I would do. Makes me emotional. They always find a way to make me smile, right? And every single emotion that I can possibly have, they have given back to me. So I just want to give to them as much as possible in any way I can. I, I, I can't explain in words how much I love them because <laughs> I mean they're my world so I just want to thank them for everything they've given me and I really wouldn't be here without them honestly. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. I hated myself a lot. I didn't like how it looked. I didn't like anything about myself. I hated it. The way that BTS impacts me today is by pushing me to be a better version of myself. When they announced that they're going to be at LA and um, I wanted to be a part of thanking them, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to just show up to a show as an empty shell because I'm like, I'm like, I love you guys and then but I wanted to get to know myself in order to be like, this is what you've helped me. Their message is to love yourself and to have self-acceptance and that you, and I'm getting older in my life and I, you know, I'm sure I made a million mistakes and um, I'm like, okay, I did. These faults and mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. For many years, I have never been able to say without some uh, self degradation that I can honestly say that I'm okay with me now. You know, I've grown to just love myself for who I am and say, you know, if you don't like me, then it's fine, you know. You can go live your life and I'll go live mine and it won't make any of a difference. I have the um, Love Yourself Flowers from the Love Yourself album series tattooed on my arm because it's a reminder to me every day um, of how much they love us and if they are capable of loving us so much then, then we should love ourselves equally. Show me how to love myself a little bit more. I appreciate life a lot more. So, thank you, BTS, for existing and for being a part of so many people's lives. You guys, you guys taught me through your eyes, through your love, through your tweets, through your letters, through your everything. You guys taught me and inspired me how to love myself. So I want to say one thing. Please, please use me.
Please use BTS to love yourself. Because you guys taught me how to love myself every day. Back in 2018, I went through a really rough breakup. Um, this one, just, I couldn't, it just took me to my knees. This one really knocked me down. Um, and I was in a room and I was by myself and I was Googling love yourself, love myself kind of thing, because I knew that that was instrumental. I knew that was something I needed to learn how to do. And I eventually came across uh, Jen. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. Being an army, I have faced a lot of criticism. A Bavarian radio station apologized on Friday for their radio host's comment that likened the K-pop boy band BTS to the coronavirus. BTS is so wie SARS. Das ist so eine Abkürzung für irgendein scheiß Virus, ja? wogegen es hoffentlich bald ebenfalls eine Impfung gibt. How did this become a thing in West... Oh my God, I've never heard that. I've never heard that guy actually speaking. I just read about it, but jeez. That's a lot of hatred in that voice, jeez. K-pop boy band BTS to the coronavirus. BTS is so wie SARS. Das ist so eine Abkürzung für irgendein scheiß Virus, ja? wogegen es hoffentlich bald ebenfalls eine Impfung gibt. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are jerking off to little K-pop boys? <laughs> I hate them BTS niggas. Tell me why though. Do I need a reason? I know they're big. I know it's China. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Korea. But why are you going to see that Chinese? Them Chinese bastard boys. Do I need a reason? I know they're big. I know it's China. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Korea. But why are you going to see that Chinese band? Or why would you spend so much money on them? Why do you care? And I would just explain to him like you won't understand. They don't understand what that means. They think you're just some kind of boy band fanatic at the wrong age to be a boy band fanatic, but it's more than that. You know, and, and the thing was, I would tell people, you know, you gotta check out BTS, family, friends, or whatever, and they just like, it's almost like they're patting you on the head and going, oh, that's nice, dear, you know. Being, being a fan of any group that is underrated or faces a lot of social stigma is hard anyway. Um, and then being a fan of a group that actively fights xenophobia and racism is definitely much harder. And people would hear that I'm an army and completely despise that part of me. And that is a big part of me. There, okay, the world today is, there's a lot of negativity. And on social media, if you look at social media, everyone is hateful, everyone is mean, everything's bad. 
there's every there's hate because you have different religious views or political views or whatever it is. There's all this hate. Um, and I have said for years, don't look at social media, look at the people around you because people around you are still good people. You still see acts of kindness every single day, but it gets lost, I think. And BTS has something that I think the world needs, and that is that positivity and hope. BTS isn't out there spreading hate. We stop. I don't want to stop much here uh, during this documentary because I want those voices to be pure and coming to you direct. But uh, this is very important. I've said this before. BTS is not about music. It's not about what they wear, how, to, how they look, what they say, the fun. They, you know, those are all bonuses. It's the most important part is how they are impacting the world. You don't have to like their music. You don't have to like their clothes, their hairstyle, how they look, you know, the fact that they wear makeup, it gets, you know, criticized. So many things to criticize because they're a boy band, you know? They're a boy band. They're not a guy, tough guy with a guitar, you know, who's cool. Um, they're a boy band. They're pop. And they are an easy target for anything. But at the very least, you have to respect their impact and how they are helping others. Not all famous popular musicians are in it for that. The majority, I would say, are in it for the fame, for the money, for the success, for their own personal selfish reasons. But the fact that they are able to help people just like this in these videos you can't deny that. You can't say that doesn't happen. And at the very least, you can... You know, we are a music channel, you know, um, dedicated to discussing uh, music. But I try to remove any biases and prejudices. And I've gotten to know this group. I'm, I'm still trying to retain uh, a level of professionalism when it comes to music. But over the years, I have gotten to know the group and many aspects about them um you get i'm on a deeper understanding a deeper level of understanding about the humans behind the bts and the way you know i i'm not the target demographic i'm not you know, a guy who listens to lyrics. I'm just a sound guy, but I've grown to understand them, the impact they have on all of you. Uh, and that to me means a lot. This channel is, you know, primarily BTS oriented, but I feel like I'm not an army. Honestly, I don't. But the reason I do this is because of you and the way they impact you and the passion and the healing and everything positive that comes from it that w is what attracts me
that is what attracts me to all of this, you know? That's it. It's not... I don't have posters, I don't buy merch. I don't have a whole playlist that I listen to every day. But the impact they have on you is something that's indescribable and it's beautiful. And that's the reason I do this. For you, for everyone here, everyone here, it's not even about BTS. Everyone here, I've said this before, everyone here is looking for, you know what BTS represents? BTS represents the goodness in this world, the positive, the special, the genuineness, the honest tr truth, hope, healing. That's what they represent. And all of you are attracted to those traits, those attributes. You want to see goodness in this world. So much of the crap outside in media celebrates the negativity, the greed, the selfishness, you know, um, fame, money, sex. So many bad things, you know? Things that try to be cool, you know? But they don't care about any of that. And they stand for the right things as humans, you know? And you guys are attracted to that more than anything. It's not about someone's outfit or hairstyle or song or dancing. It's about what they represent. And I, I think armies are a special group of people. I do. And that's why I'm here. Okay. 힘드시니까 그런 거에 반응하시는 것도 일일이 부정적인 에너지에 일일이 뭔가 이렇게 신경 안 써주셔도 될것 같아요 그게 그 사람들이 원하는 거고요 너무 그런데 신경 쓰지 마시길 부탁드리고 왜냐면 그런데 이제 쓰는 에너지도 너무 아깝기 때문에 I was always a negative and dark person and I hated everything and everyone and they changed my mindset I never thought that anyone could, could change me, but they did. The world is so divisive and we're all feeling the same things. And so that's what I felt emphasized when I found out they had fans in Brazil and India and United Kingdom. I'm like, yeah, we're just all alike. And uh, there's no reason to be hateful and, uh, and divisive. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. President Biden hopes to focus more attention on anti-Asian hate crimes by hosting K-pop superstars BTS at the White House today. Members of the South Korean band are known for using their social media fan base to call for social change and encourage activism. Being an army has helped me to speak myself. The line that um, it makes them so gravely lonely that they won't open their mouth. Um, that's how I felt as a middle school kid. That's how I felt for a long time. And I don't know if it's just age or what, but I'm less like that now. But certainly as a middle school kid, I felt like I couldn't say anything. Like I had no voice. No one was going to listen to me. And that's exactly how a lot of people feel. And in my professional life, I do a lot of mentoring. And I'm always telling my students, you have to speak up for yourself. BTS's message of speak yourself is the same thing. Just because you think no one's listening, there are people out there who can hear you and who will hear you if you open your mouth. I think they always talked about unconditional love and being with people that love you for who you are and what you do and so I found those people and I got I made the friends that don't care about what I like and let me express myself and watch their videos with me because they know it makes me happy and now 
Now I have no worries about sharing my love of BTS because I know that's part of me and I'm not ashamed of any part of me and I'm not scared to speak myself um, and be true to who I am. You know, they're referred to as like screaming teeny boppers. And, uh, and I lived through the Beatles. <laughs> I was a teenager when the Beatles started. And, um, and I, I, I don't like that because um, I mean, you could compare them to football fans. Football fans curse and yell and, and uh, they hope to hurt each other on the field and uh, BTS fans are not like that. Fellow armies who have helped create a world within BTS to uh, share it with uh, others that I'm even more grateful for because I feel like I wasn't alone in my journey of experiencing them. The community that surrounds them is wonderful. I started talking to people online last spring and they were so welcoming. I was so thrilled to be accepted by ARMY and to become ARMY and, and to know that ARMY is out there in every country. It's a big support to some, especially being in that room full of ARMY, it's like you just feel like you're home with all your friends and all your family. It's for someone that has extreme social anxiety. <laughs> I can say that um, I feel welcomed and home. I think that I'm all alone and that I'm the only one that feels like an outsider, but I think we all probably feel like outsiders and we're all looking for belonging. You're not alone. You're never, you're gonna be alone. You're always, you always have us, you always have ARMY, you always have all these support people, you always have, you know, as ARM says in Butter, you know, they have ARMY right behind them. When he says, and you know, we have them the same way they have us. It feels like I have family. You're BTS, you're ARMY, you're each other's everything. So, they're not screening team hoppers. They appreciate, you know, like football's choreography too. And then you throw in the lyrics and the voices and exponentially better. <laughs> so the fans are um, very enthusiastic. And why shouldn't they be, you know? They have been a big part of my last four years and they have been instrumental in not only helping me to love myself, but bringing me a lot of joy, which has been important. I've needed joy and lightheartedness and they certainly do that as well. And I hope they understand the wide range of people that they affect with just who they are, not just their music, not just their dance, but just who they are. So I really thank them for like coming into my life and making me like see things from a different point of view and also having this relationship with ARMY that I have never seen before. If you really need help, there's a space for you. No matter who you are and where you're from and how old you are. I'm 63 and I know people in their 70s and 80s who adore BTS just as much if not more than I do. Well, it couldn't be more. And why do they? I think a lot of it is because some of these people are retired and BTS is there waiting like uh, dear family members and friends online. These 70, 80 year old people, they're definitely not fans of hip hop or rap or 
you know, like the fashion or the dance, you know, they don't identify with that. But what they can see as older people who are much wiser people than just younger people is they can see their heart. They can see what they stand for and they can see what they're doing and they can see they are better characters, uh, judge of characters. That is why the older people are fans. You know, older people are wiser in general and they can see that in, in the group. Not because of their listening to Cypher. <laughs> for you at any time of day or night but more than that they're genuinely talented they're they're something that you don't see more than once in a lifetime your songs are amazing thank you for your message to the world uh, they're they inspire us they inspire everyone thank you for your song for your message i'm sammy the bts thank you so much i love you three years um they have been home and constant and helped me through so many times and helped me to love myself and speak myself that even if I stopped listening to their music, they were such a significant part of my life that I will always want to remember who they are and what they did for me. just adore the positivity that they bring in the world. They are, they can change the world. Army, we can change the world. BTS's music and presence gives me the assurance that I am not alone, that I have someone with me that I can strive to be strong with, to be braver with as I face this life. It was not BTS saving me from the drown. But it was BTS drowning with me until I eventually learned how to save myself. Okay, let's take a quick break here. Um, you know, there are times, uh, not a lot, there are times when I see the world, everything that's happening, it's the bad. And I see famous people, how they're acting, what's being celebrated, what's popular, what's famous, what's trending. Sometimes that gives me anxiety. Like, sometimes it's scary, you know? The things that people say in their songs and they try to be cool. And the the values that they are portraying their character, it, it kind of scares me where this world is going, you know? Like, I was really disappointed at that song, WAP. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be like, you know, like a moral compass. But when I heard the song WAP, I was just really disgusted. I, like, I, And not just that song. It's just a representative of what is cool and what is like celebrated and like revered it's just like this fucking world is like going to crap you know like do you have any decency you any purity like and sometimes when i really think about it deeply it just like it gives me anxiety you know like yeah i because if you look at eras like the shocking music the one that pushes the boundaries of behavior of what is acceptable is the cool thing. 
And it's always been like that, you know? You, you see high schoolers, the evil ones, the dickheads who, who are brave enough to do like shitty stuff or the cool guys. And it's just like even in, like when I was younger, like there was a group called Color Me Bad and they sang a song called I Wanna Sex You Up. And then people were like, oh my God, they just said that. And they were so cool because they said that. Now we're at a point where we're singing wet ass pussy, you know? Like, what is there more to now? What, what, what other boundaries are we going to cross, you know? <laughs> and when I look at that, like, we have gone to the edge of morality and then nothing is sacred anymore. And it kind of gives me anxiety when I think about it sometimes. But then when I look at this group and what they are, it just, like, kind of comforts me, you know? Like... I'm not listening to Epiphany at night, you know, sobbing and like trying to find meaning, listen, reading the lyrics. That's not me. But when I just think about them and just, you know, there's a song like, huh, yeah, the good guys, you know, like for me, it's that they represent that the goodness. Yeah, you know, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> I drink. I do a lot of stuff. But, you know, I, I want to put things into perspective in my mind when I see the world and I try to recompass, you know, and when I see that and those kind of music, you know, like guns, you know, money, as that's all there is in media, you know, like. And they are a very refreshing, comforting, you know, safe place for a lot of people in this world. And I like that uh, they exist, uh, hanging on to that purity. Uh, that's enough uh, of what I'm not going to speak any further. It's just too much. If I think too much, I'll probably end up on a therapist's couch somewhere. So I think that will be the extent of what I want to say about this video, but uh, that video was very moving because we were able to see actual people who were affected uh, positively, uh, people whose, whose lives were saved. And, you know, you, fuck you. You can be cool, show your ass, whatever, wet ass pussy. Just <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a one song break. We'll be back.
수 있으니까 Hey, you never walk alone 너와 나 함께라면 웃을 수 있으니까 너와 나 함께라면 웃을 수 있으니까Okay, so uh, we are going to watch uh, Run BTS. Oops. Uh, before we do, uh, you will see a, a link in the chat room. It's pinned right now in the YouTube chat. That is an invitation to this chat room on the very right, the Kakao Talk chat room. Anybody who's been interested uh, in joining, uh, you are all welcome. Uh, you can join. Um, there are two separate functions. Um, it's different. Kaka Talk exists uh, 24 hours. Um, you can talk about BTS. Um, it's a community based around uh, armies and BTS. Um, it's for you guys. It's constantly going many different time zones all over the world. When we do live streams, they are also our dancers, on-screen dancers. I, I'm sure you've seen it. Um, so anybody is welcome. It used to be closed off because so many people wanted to go uh, into it and it was hard to handle with so many big numbers. But uh, I just opened it. Anybody who wants to join is welcome to join. Okay. Um, and now is the portion that we are great over to Twitch. I will uh, send out a link right now. You see the link? Everybody with the Twitch link, just post it right now. Everybody in the chats, post the Twitch link uh, in on YouTube so everybody can join. For those of you who are watching the replay, you can uh, click the click on the link below in the description because we can't watch it here on YouTube. We have to watch it on Twitch. Um, and for those of you who are lazy, we'll upload that part at the Run BTS uh, at a future date to YouTube for you to watch. All right. So anybody, YouTube people have to, uh, send out the link, not the Twitch people. <laughs> yes. Gino in Double Echo was so funny. Was there a Double Echo today? I don't know. Move to Twitch, all right? So you got one song. One song. Uh, and then we are going to uh, move over. Uh, it has to be a song I played previously because we played too many songs today. So... When I play too many songs, it gets uh, blocked. There are still 1,000 people in YouTube chat. Move over to Twitch. I need to move 1,000 people. <laughs> 1,000 people. Go to freaking Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Gino Reacts. One song. We go now.
Okay. You got one minute. There's a song that's one minute. After the song, the YouTube live stream will be shut. We go. You got 60 seconds. Go, go, go. Chamchi, Negan, Yong Yong, Nadu, 